Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we are going to be disassembling the LG Envy Touch and seeing if we can get the internal display out of this phone without breaking it. If we do break it, not a big deal. This may be a fail video. You'll find out in the title um, if we were able to do it or not. But let's go ahead and get these little plugs pulled out. Looks like there's three of them. They're in there pretty good. I just scratched the side of it right there with the uh, tweezer by accident. So it's getting this isn't my phone. Alrighty. Let's grab our Phillips screwdriver. And remove the screws. Like I said I've never taken apart an LG Envy Touch. I've never actually taken apart an LG Envy, I don't think. Um, we do have a red one that's completely water damaged. We might try to take apart and fix. But uh, I've never taken apart an LG Envy. So that's going to be kind of new for me. So I said, if we break, it's not a big deal. It's always a learning experience with taking apart old phones because they're built really weird compared to, to newer phones. Let's see. So we should have all those out. Here's the other one. So we're going to go ahead and open the door flap things and then we're going to open it up and we're going to start peeling in between these two halves. So there's that half. Inside we have our motherboard. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that ribbon cable. Let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit. And then we should be able to pull out the motherboard. Right here it is. Open it up and get our keypad out of the way. And this is kind of where I am lost after this. There's a little uh, camera key right there that came off the side. I'm not too sure how to get this uh, this hinge piece off. Because we got to make sure we can put it back on. Because we can't just break it off because then we won't be able to put our other phone back together. Do you pull it? I don't know. I don't wanna... Oh, okay. It just looks like it comes off. It's got like a little uh, tab right there. So we just pull that off and here is our display piece so we're gonna have um, four little rubber caps with screws on them looks like these are uh, actually plastic caps like the little glue on ones that we've seen before and there it is right there we're we'll gonna keep track of these so if we uh, lose one on the other phone we can have a, a spares and we need to make sure we can put this one back together so we can drop test it. The Envy Touch was kind of uh, one of my favorite phones for a while. And we're going to try to be careful on side because we want to keep uh, this inner piece. So I didn't scratch it, but I thought I did. So like I said, we're going to want to keep this. So we're scratching this little rubber. It's a little metal cap, so let's have to take one off the other phone. Let's go back to our Phillips. Looks like the uh, plastic for this screw is actually broken. hate when that happens because then we have to really just kind of hopefully it just slides out the little metal insert comes out with it but if not we're gonna have to break it out and that's when you start breaking stuff this one came out all right all right so now we're gonna have to pull these screws out a little bit if that one comes out that one and then we got one more down here like I said it feels like it's stripped out so yeah the plastic piece in there is a uh, spitting 
Let me go ahead and try to get it out. Sometimes by wedging a screwdriver or something in between, you can pull it out. Let's just see if we can pull it apart without it or if we're going to have to work with it. If you have some kind of fingernails, you can use your fingernails to uh, disconnect some of the trim pieces. Um, there is the inside. I guess we could just change out this uh, outer bezel. Is it broken right there? Yeah, it's broken. I think we're just going to try to change out the outer bezel. Uh, mine's kind of cracked right here and right there anyway. So I just want the uh, inner LCD piece because uh, it looks a lot better. And there's a little nick right there, but it's a lot better condition than mine. And the uh, LCD isn't messed up. So let's go ahead and take apart my LG. Oops, my LG Envy. And we have to be careful with this one because this is mine. We don't want to scratch anything. So we're going to try to be a little bit more careful in mine than that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera real quick. You just have to pull out these rubber plugs. Alrighty. There's the other one, and then you got one more down here at the bottom. All right. So they're gonna have three rubber plugs. Um, all three of them are gonna be on this side, and there's gonna be two screws on the inside here, as you've seen with the other one. There's all three of the screws came out all at one time. So let's see. Open up our little flap things. We'll go ahead and take a look at all the parts and see which one's in better shape and put all the better parts on my phone. But I know we'll put the worst shape ones on the uh, drop test phone that we're going to be drop testing. This one's a little bit tighter than the other one. It's a lot tighter than the other phone is. I might have to grab one of my plastic pry tools to get this one opened. Let me see if I got one handy. Okay, here's one. Okay. So it looks like we got it started now. Whew, that was pain. I'm gonna set that down. Let's go ahead and pull off our buttons. Disconnect our display cable. I'm gonna wiggle this board out. our keypad out and then we're going to pull this apart like we did the last one what you're going to do is is from the back side make sure you don't hit your cable push it like that way you're going to push this out a little bit and you're going to pull up like that and there's that off and then we're going to have to pull out these little plugs basically uh the hides the screw is all it does we're not going to try to scratch these ones because we actually need to use these ones because i kind of scratched the other ones now, these ones down here really aren't seen but i like to put everything back to how it was 
So we'll try not to mess with them too much. There's that. And we'll take our Phillips screwdriver and hopefully these aren't going to be broken in place so we don't have to break the, the good bezel off. That is my dog actually snoring. It's crazy how loud a, a, a boxer can snore some days. And then we got one more screw and hopefully this one comes out nice and easy. Try to take it nice and easy on this so we don't break anything. Oh yes. And yeah, we're starting to have to get the other one out of the other phone though so we can put this plastic bezel back on. Oh, uh, where'd that screw you? There it is. When I need the tripod. Alrighty. So we're not going to open this up just yet. We're going to go and take a look at this one and see if we can figure out what we can do to get this, uh, this lower piece off real quick. So as you can see, it looks like this bottom piece is broke off, which is where it was cracked at. And inside, you can see right here is the uh, screw piece. That's the little plastic piece that broke off. And that's why we couldn't get that screw out. So sometimes you can put your finger on there. If you can get enough of a, uh, a lever on it to pull it out. Now we see another piece just fell off this. I'm going to pause the video and see if I can grab some of my tweezers and get on there and get it off. Okay, guys, I was able to get it out with a pair of needle nose. I actually broke these a long time ago, but they still work. So there is the metal insert that came out of the plastic that broke. So we were able to get that out. I'm going to push our screw out. Like I said, this phone's going to kind of suck on the drop test because it's missing pieces, but... Um, we waited to do this all last in case we couldn't get that out. We don't want to break this open and not be able to switch them. So now you're going to just um, pull this bezel off. I'm starting at the bottom because that's where it seemed most fragile at. Now it looks like a lot of these envy touches looks like the uh, bezel cracks on them so you want to be very careful because like I said I have a crack right there, I have a crack right there and then I have another one uh, right there about midway through the phone. So you want to be very careful and try not to break it open. We all came off in one piece. So we're going to go ahead and come down here and we're going to disconnect our um, LCD. Let's see which way this, uh, it looks like this black piece does come up. Okay, there we go. So there goes the black piece, unclips itself. And you see there's some dust on the LCD, but that one we're not worried about. Let's go over to this one. This is the one we are swapping our parts into. We're going to unplug that. And there's our old one. As you can see, the uh, the layers between the um, let me see if I can find a black. There we go. The layers between the um, resistive touchscreen are touching now, or something. Maybe water got in there or something. There's no telling what actually happened to it, but it doesn't matter because we don't need it. Now you want to grab a rag with not a lot of lint on it and just gently wipe down all the dust off of it you want this to be as clean as possible with no dust specks on it you are going to take this little cable shove it back in there and then slap the little plug in down I'm gonna do this off camera just give it one last light down and make sure nothing in here because it will show through
you want to make sure not to touch it either because you're going to your fingerprint all over it and like I said it will take some time because just put it down and if you see any dust just grab your rag again and just clean it up again and I'm going to go ahead and say as you can see it's not clipped on but you can see that's probably the best it's going to get there might be a little piece or two under there uh, looks like there's maybe one right there and maybe one right there oh that's on the outside now just one little piece in there we're going to go ahead and count that good um, what I'm going to do is grab some alcohol and clean up the edges before I push this down real quick though. I got my rag, got some alcohol. This how I make my phones look really clean is by doing all this. Like I said, I try to keep them all really clean looking and nice so... Go ahead and give it one more wire down because I opened it back up to do that. Alrighty. Now we're going to go ahead and push it all together. I says be working nice and careful around it because it is very fragile plastic on these. Looks like that's all back together. We're going to go ahead and put our screws back on now. That didn't work very well. Where'd it go? There it is. I should be using the other screwdriver, but this one doesn't make all the uh, squeaking sounds, so that's why we're using it. Just snug them up. I'm not going to put them on extremely tight because, like I said, you've seen how uh, fragile the plastic is. Just put them in there nice and snug. I mean, these phones to me are more like uh, collector items, just kind of like a hobby. I mean, it's not like I really use any of these. Um, some of the other ones I do just play around with them once in a while, just bring back memories, but. And then you're gonna grab your rag again. Like I said, while it's all apart, you wanna clean it all up now, cause you're not gonna be able to do it when it's all back together down here and stuff like that so clean it all up the best you can make it look nice and then we're going to grab our little um, rubber connectors or little rubber connectors or little rubber uh, stopper things the screw covers and put them back on now if you didn't touch them too much with your fingers they should have enough glue to stick back on the phone so let's see that one looks like it's stuck back on there no problem let's grab this one So it looks like it's stuck back on there, no problem. Like I said, I just really want it to be nice and clean because it kind of had some dust down between the folding part and I couldn't really clean it. So now is the time to do that. So here's one of our little rubber, our little plastic covers that go down here. Go ahead and guide it with this. Push around the edges. You don't need to push hard, just kind of brush it around there. And if you wipe it with the rag and it doesn't come off, then it's probably good enough. That one doesn't really stick very good. Let's go put it back on. If it doesn't stick on very good, you could probably just get some glue and just dab a little glue on it. I'm just gonna grab the other one off the other phone because I'm not too worried about it. We're probably not gonna put them back on the other phone. It's just gonna be drop test and then 
in the giveaway box. I am doing another giveaway. Let me just finish up with these drop tests we're about to do. And then I will start the giveaway. And we're going to do it the same way. Just enter it in through the uh, comment section maybe where we might do an actual drawing. So now we're going to take a look at our two bezels and see which one's cleaner. Which one shows less wear. And believe it or not, it's going to be the phone that we uh, took apart to begin with. So we'll swap those and we're going to wipe it down with some alcohol as well. Get it all nice and clean. Get inside the keys since the keypad's not there around the edges and the cracks between the hinges. And the cracks of the plastic where we won't be able to get anymore. I've taken some phones apart just to clean them because they get pretty bad. Some of the nastier ones, so it's kind of just every phone's put together different. And I mean, I broke a couple doing them before. I mean, you just kind of have to experiment with it, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and take our. This is gonna be. Um, let's see. I think this is going to be a certain way. Yeah, here we go. So you can see this goes in a certain way. There's like a certain latch there. So we're going to try to line that up. And there's that. That seems to be in place. We're going to go ahead and pull our flex cable through that side and kind of see if that's going to be right, which it looks like it is. We're going to slide it back on this post right here. So actually, I just found out that, um, let me grab this display piece. This little plastic piece will push in. Ow, my finger. Well, the other one did. On this one, this plastic piece pushed in, and I had to push it back out from the other side for it to line back up. So you want to make sure your, uh, your little clip piece is in the right area. So like I said, the uh, plastic will hold it back a little bit like that, so... That looks to be in the right area. Let's go ahead and grab our keypad and see which one's in better shape. Um, I'm going to go with the one that was on my phone, actually. So we're going to go ahead and take some alcohol, wipe in between the keys, because like I said, you don't want to have to pull it back apart to clean it when it's already apart the first time. So just do it now and have it nice and done and nice... And clean and just be careful that you don't rip anything off of it because these are really fragile with these little pieces down here you don't want to rip those off and you can see it's nice and clean looking and these literally just set in here like that that's all there is to it on that and grab our board and we're just gonna rest it in place Let's see where these yeah, so these got a little place to set in. So you have to pick these up over this plastic piece right there. That'll just have a nice little spot to set in for it. And then the board will just sit in place all by itself. And it'll kind of clip in. Then you plug your display cable in. And we'll clean up our buttons real quick. I have to clean up around the edges of the buttons because they get really nasty between the cracks. And you usually can't clean them unless you take it apart. So It's just best to do it now so you don't have to do it later. Alrighty, so there's these three buttons. 
You can see it's got a nice little cutout right there so you know which way it goes. They're going to be still clicky. You're going to take your camera button and clean it up as well. This is going to be a long video, so only almost 30 minutes. I'm probably not going to put the other one back together on camera because how long this video is, so. Go ahead and clean up that button, and you're going to go ahead and slide it in its little spot. There we go. More looking nice. So I'm going to grab our back cover housings and see which one looks to be in better shape. I'm going to have to go with probably mine. It looks to be in better shape. It's kind of looking at them both. They both kind of look to be identical. This one seems to be a little bit more dirty. That came off of the other phone. So we're going to go back on with mine. Once again, just clean up all your edges. As you can see, look at all the dirt, the crud that's built up on the corners. I'm going to try to clean all that up. Get it nice and clean. You want to make it nice and clean looking for when you put it all back together. Alrighty. You want to make sure your camera lens is nice and clean on the inside. Make sure you don't touch it with your fingers either. So I'm going to grab your phone. I'm going to go and line this back up. Make sure your buttons are in the right place. See how that didn't go on? You're going to want to pick it back up and redo it. Like that. So it goes nice and, nice and in place. Just go back around and clip it all back together. This side still unclipped. And we're not going to put the screws in it to test it. We want to make sure everything works before we do that. Let's go and put our battery back in and see if it turns on. See if we broke it. Nope, still works. The inside display is still working. Let's go ahead and go through a full test to make sure everything works before we put our screws in it, which I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So we're going to go and do that while it turns on. I'm not too worried about it. Let's see. It looks like it's already back on. I hope you guys like these uh, little repair videos. I mean, they seem to get some views on them, maybe help some people out. Not a lot of people work on these anymore. But I always do it just for the fun. Looks like the uh, display is still working just fine. All of our buttons are working. Our inner display is now fixed and we don't have those dead pixels anymore. It's nice and clean looking. You can see in between. It's nice and clean. So it is all back together and it is working. So we just got to put these two screws in and put these caps on. And I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this off camera because we're already at 30 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I guess.